This video covers Power SDR KE9NS version 2.8.0.154. Uh, and all the features I've added since the last video. The first was um, part of the scanner. Uh, I didn't have, uh, it didn't have the capability of stopping on a squelch break in FM. The FM feature works a little bit different. So um, uh, if you have repeaters that are FM repeaters, you notice that the squelch works a little differently. There's no there's no little level in there. I mean, you can adjust the level here, but you don't actually see a visual indicator. So I, I had to change the way the code works, but it does function now. Uh, so now, um, you know, when you when you're in FM mode, uh, it starts to go, and then on a squelch break, it'll stop. In this case, we have wait on squelch. Now. Uh, I don't have any active repeaters around here right right now, but uh, I added a weight on squelch break, so it's more like a traditional scanner in that uh, depending upon the length you have, if um, it, it after the squelch or after the signal drops, it waits an additional in this case five seconds before it would move on and continue scanning. Uh, versus the pause was basically if there was it would wait for five seconds and then if there was nothing no signal at that point it would go on uh, but this this basically as long as there's a signal it keeps resetting the five seconds um, so it's more like a, tradi a traditional scanner so that's uh, been improved the uh, in the RX2 I've added uh, the shortwave bands in the list uh, in addition to the the um, regular ham bands the uh, next, let's go back to 40. Uh, in the EQ, you right-click on there, and that'll open up the EQ panel. I I had added this 28-band EQ uh, as kind of a, an experiment, and, but it wasn't um, it wasn't always remembering. It, it remembered these these levels, but it wasn't always uh, injecting that into the transmit signal. It, that's now fixed. The um, next has to do with I squared C output. I've added, uh, in addition to the original um, I squared C that I added for a separate ham or a LD MOS amplifier that I was building, I've also added a little checkbox here. Uh, if you hold over and you see the tooltip, you'll see the different outputs. So all the bands will output uh, I squared C data when you change bands. Uh, even for the 630 meter band, that'll also output. Even though you it, you can't really transmit, uh, it does output for all the different bands on the I squared C data. The next thing I added after that was the 3D button, uh, little just a little visual trick of uh, three dimensional data on the screen. You don't have to have the waterfall; you can turn off the waterfall. Anyway, um, the next I added was in the VAC panel. I added a mix, and what happens if you if you uncheck this box and you enable VAC one, and whatever um, if your PC is set to, to you know to send out if you're playing a YouTube video or whatever you're playing some kind of sound, uh, and it basically comes in on this channel here, and it would uh, play out over the over power SDR over the over the flex. Normally, it disables the microphone. If you click this, you can leave the microphone active at the same time. Uh, so you can it acts you know to to mix the two audio channels, the VAC and your microphone. But this PTT here has to be overridden if you're going to use the mic to key the radio to PTT the radio you have to uncheck this normally you know you leave this off and that would be on the last thing has to do with the meters uh, I've added a couple new features one was uh, kind of uh, changing the the arc of the analog meters it still has the um, the different you know you can click the button and change them <clears throat> if you right click <clears throat> It brings you to the menu, and you can change the colors in the in the in the actual meters. Uh, but there's a couple other features. One I want to go over: if you 
right here on this line here, which is the actual uh, digital n numeric version of the analog meter down here. If you right click on that, that disables the uh, those little pull down menus, the receive and transmit pull down menus. If you click it again, they reappear. Now I right click, I open up this panel and uh, you can see where that meter menu on checkbox is here. So you can do the same thing from this point. Now if I hit meter on top, it changes everything and puts it up top here. Now I don't need the VFO dials. I can disable the VFO dials. But it's got the two meters on here. Uh, again, I can right click, go back to that meters over to the side. Now normally if I were to right click here I open up the band stack and it moves it over here but now if I move the meters on top the band stack will move over to occupy where the meters were. So now we got the two meters on here. I've got the combo meter showing me power short uh, SWR, ALC, and mic. Uh, I've got this so then if I transmit I can have this be whatever I want. I can even open this back up temporarily so I can change what meters I want. And then right click to bring it back. But uh, but again, this is still a functioning band stack over here that I can add and delete and sort band, the band stack. Uh, if I enable my receiver 2 in this case, if you have a second receiver, this obviously changes over to signal uh, because now it's it's being part of this. Uh, second receiver. I turn it back off, it goes back to what it was. And uh, right now, um, it's showing the combo meter, but if I want, like I said, I can do this, open it up, and then I can change this to be something else. And then something else. There we go. And that's it.